Right now at noon, Palm Beach County and the Treasure Coast are under a hurricane watch as subtropical storm Nicole makes its way to our area. Okeechobee County is under a tropical storm watch. The watches mean that storm conditions are possible within the next 48 hours. Of course, this comes as we are less than 24 hours away from polls opening on Election Day. Good afternoon. I'm Tiffany Kenny and I'm Erin Guy. Thanks for joining us for WPBF 25 News and Noon. We have live team coverage as we track the tropics this afternoon. Josie Carbonari standing by with what election officials are doing to prepare for the storm. But first, let's send things over to first warning meteorologist Sandra Shaw and Glenn Glazer. Glenn. All right. Good afternoon, everyone. We're tracking subtropical storm Nicole. A little bit different than a tropical storm in that it gets its power from a battle between warm and cool air air. Once it actually becomes tropical, it gets its fuel from the warm water of the ocean and it could strengthen more as a tropical storm into potentially a very low end category one hurricane as it approaches the Florida coast over the next couple of days. In the meantime, it is just a subtropical storm with gusty winds around 45 miles per hour. It is northeast of the Bahamas. It's moving to the northwest at nine. It is expected to make a more westerly turn as we get into tomorrow and right in here Tuesday night into Wednesday. It could make that transition into a fully tropical system and then it would be able to strengthen a little more models are Little hesitant to make it a hurricane. Only a couple of models actually have it tiptoeing into that category one status. But just to be safe, that is part of the track in here with winds at 75 miles per hour. So barely a category one as it makes its way from the Bahamas over toward the east coast of Florida, then eventually making a turn as a tropical storm up toward central Florida, toward the panhandle, and then jetting off into the southeastern U.S. as we get into Friday and into Saturday. So for us, the main impact will be from about Wednesday late afternoon through Thursday morning. That's when we can see the most impact from Nicole. But there's a lot of changes that could happen between now and then. The track could shift a little bit. It could weaken a little bit. It could strengthen a little bit. So we'll be keeping an eye on all of those things. There's been a lot of differences between the computer models. And meteorologist Sandra Shaw joining me now. Sandra, it's, it's been difficult this late in the season. The storms that develop are always a bit on the tricky side when it comes to the computer models and figuring them out. And you got it. And Ray, yeah. go back and nod back to Ian and when we thought it was going up to Tampa Bay. And then at the last you know day or so, it was going into Naples. So these things are incredibly dynamic and fickle. I will say that one consensus is the direction. It is heading up in our direction, but the real question now is the intensity. The European model, I mean, it looks like it develops a tropical storm perhaps, and it moves a little south, maybe uh, just south of Boca, and then moves through the area. And as you can see, after that, it heads up into the Gulf. The models are pretty consistent with that, and then perhaps taking it back over the Big Bend area of Florida. Either way, it's going to stir up the waters. We're going to see high seas anywhere from, say, 20 to 25 feet not too far offshore so the beaches are going to take a real pounding if from nothing else not only the combination of the tropical or subtropical characteristics and the gusty winds but also the high tide cycle which is hitting at a bad time so after a few days of this the beaches are really going to take some uh, wear and tear for sure we're going to see the typical things we see with a tropical entity with the rain wrap tornadic potential as well as some heavy rains and some storm surge as well so we've got eyes on it but at this point we've got a good day to prepare so get to it all right, Sandra, Glenn, thank you. And our first warning weather team is committed to bringing you the most up-to-date information on subtropical storm Nicole. For the latest tracks and forecasts, scan the QR code on your screen to download our free WPBF 25 News app. We'll also send push alerts when there are significant updates.